I think one of my favorite things about being in the indie game scene is growing relationships with indie game developers to where you learn about their games, you play their games that you love, and then as they start developing new games, you get excited about playing their new games as well. And that's exactly what's going on today with Pyrene. This is a new roguelike deck builder uh, from Two Tiny Dice, which if you know who Two Tiny Dice is, uh, they are a amazing indie game developer who made one of my favorite games of all time, Forward Escape the Fold. Uh, so if you're a Forward fan, this video might be for you, because this is the devs next game. Um, Forward is a, a really awesome game, and I got a ton of videos on my channel. You should check it out if you don't know that game. Um, it's a, a brilliant little deck building roguelike as well. But this is a, a new take on, on deck building roguelikes. We're gonna hop in and, and just play. I'm not even gonna explain anything. Let's just play. Um, this is the demo currently, so you can play it. Link in the description down below. Let's check it out and see what's going on. Demo is in beta version, still under development. Feel free to send feedback. Okay, I will, I will do that. And I will continue in English uh, because unfortunately We're I don't speak village. fluent French. We live together, happily, in the wilderness. But then, they crawled from under the earth. And with them came the mountains. We were slaughtered. We were cast away. So now, we, we fight, fight back. This already has ten times the lore that <laughs> Forward Escape the Fold had, man. That was incredible. What am I? The village. I have to go back to the village. Okay, you can move around using Wazda. So this is a deck building roguelike where I can move? Move on to the healing potion to regain your strength. Dude, take a look at this. Okay. Uh, so we got a health potion here. Heal you for four HP. And I will. That's better. Now you need to find your way back to the village. I love, dude, that, uh... Oh, dude, I got a full dungeon crawling map. Map shows the zones you need to cover to reach a village. You're in the red zone. Arrow indicates the exit. Okay. Um, I love... This is kind of how the, the forward characters work. So, I... The, the de developer did say that there were some ideas from forward that this was kind of like the end product of, of forward escape the fold and, and just expanding on some of the uh, awesome stuff that game did. So again, I'm just very excited. You're entering a danger zone. Your goal is to find the votive altar to clear the zone. To do this, move from card to card. You can mouse over the cards and play to see their effects. Okay. So we got a goblin. He deals two damage. We got a gizotso. He deals two damage. <laughs> okay. And we got a, a skeleton that deals one damage but has resurrection. After death, he immediately comes back to life. Interesting. So now I have a bow. Deal two damage to the enemy with the most HP. So this will be when I walk onto it. So that's going to hit you for two. And then we got medicinal herb. Heal you for two and remove all your statuses. So let's see what happens. Okay, so that hits him. That's exactly what I would have expected. Um, can we take a look at our map here? So we don't know where we're exiting to, right? That's, that's interesting. Um, let's go down, let's hit you. When you move on to an enemy, confrontation is automatically triggered. You inflict as much damage on each other as you have HP. Health points are indicated on your card. That's an interesting uh, twist. That's not a twist, that's how forward worked too. <laughs> you killed this enemy because you had more HP than it did, but it still dealt you damage. Okay. HP drops to zero, you lose the expedition. When you kill an enemy, leave behind a loot card. More powerful the enemy, better the loot. Okay, so some gold coins, that's good. Um, I'm gonna kill Mr. Donkey over here. Get a medicinal herb. I would like to start by doing this heal. To discover the votive altar, you'll need to spend the night. This allows you to draw new cards to fill the empty spaces. However, spending the night requires you to consume two provisions. Okay, provisions are visible here. If you don't have enough, you will receive one damage per missing provision. However, be careful, enemies gain a max HP during the night, therefore eliminate as many as you can during the day. To spend the night, click on this button or press the spacebar. Okay, interesting. So, in danger zones, you can't move over empty spaces, therefore impossible to retrace your steps. That would have been great to know, okay? That would have been excellent to know, because um, now I'm stuck in the bottom left corner. Okay. 
cool. That That's fine. Um, that adds a lot more strategy to how we're going to go about these levels. I will spend the night now, okay? So they all gain health. There's my votive altar. Pray to this to clear. Um, let's go... I'm, I'm going to do something kind of stupid, so bear with me. I'm going to hit this guy, which gives me some gold. I'm going to heal. I'm going to kill this guy. I'm going to kill this guy. I get a spirit. It gives you one spirit. Spirits are resources to use your special power and unlock Urg's altar during this expedition. Very pleased with that. At this point, I know it looks stupid. I'm going to kill this guy too to get another spirit. I'm going to kill this guy too to get some more gold. Um, I am going to heal, I'm going to hit you to get some more gold, and then I'm going to go into the altar. And it's solely to see if I get anything for full clearing, because <laughs> I feel like that's going to be useful. Congrats, you've reached the votive altar. The effect of it is to clear the zone and restore all of your HP. Okay, you can move freely in cleared zones. Completely understand. So send me down into here. We have a wheat field. Um, a wheat field, it will soon be ready for harvesting. It's a farming roguelike deck builder. I'm losing my mind. Okay, um, send me back up. Let's let's go back over to here. Got got nothing, nowhere else to go, brother. I, I guess go into the wheat field. <laughs> what the heck, man? I'm actually farming. I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, let's go into our barn. A barn for storing wheat. In the barn, take a look at the details of your latest expedition. Don't, don't got much to, to view here. Take me back down. Mathilda. Fie, it's Mathilda. Belisama be praised. Here you are. I thought I'd lost you. Are you hurt? Did those creatures attack? Do you need... Calm down, calm down. I'm fine. I came across a few monsters on my way here, but nothing that can resist your old mother's hammer. But where are the others? I was hunting when these mountains appeared. I saw the village, the fire. Atanya, calm down. Gregory warned us about the monsters in time for us to escape. I'm butchering all their names. The only thing that worries me is that the others don't know the area as well as we do. I'm afraid not everyone will know how to get back here. Have you seen Zoe? 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 With her flair, she'll probably be able to lead us to the rest of the village. By Belisama, you're right. Zoe probably didn't want to leave Akohan, and I think he fled to the east when the monsters arrived. No time to lose. Stay here to welcome those who find their way back to the village. I'm off to find Akohan. Okay, new quest in search of Akohan. Is it a demo, by the way? <laughs> so we got all kinds of stuff. Um, Gashia's cartography workshop will help us plan our next expeditions. Add 28 wood to rebuild the cartography workshop. Very interesting. We have the sanctuary. Unavailable in this demo? Very fair. Archives? Unavailable in this demo? All of this is very respectable. Warehouse? Unavailable in this demo. Forge? Unavailable in this demo. Just a, an indication of the content to come, right? Uh, and I have no wood, so I can't I can't rebuild the tavern or the market. Uh, so send me this way. Here's some grasslands, large green plains. Pity so many monsters have settled here. Send me in. I'm ready for more uh, some more content. When you're in a safe zone, you can modify your equipment deck. Your equipment cards will be drawn in the next danger zones. This is because danger zones are a mix of your equipment cards and enemy cards. To see your deck, click this button. Okay, so we got a bow. We got a medicinal herb. Cards will appear in the this order in the next danger zones. You can reorder them if you wish. Note your endurance is at five, so only your first five cards will be drawn. Interesting, so they trigger in order. So I will have a bow first, then one damage to a random enemy triggered three times. Interesting. Um, that that's a that's a unique uh, unique mechanic for sure. That forces us to change the way that we go about doing things. So and keep in mind that you can't backtrack. So I got to plan this path out uh, the way that we we want to move. I think I want to do this to here down to this and that way we basically just profit right then i'll spend a provision to spend the night <laughs> what the frick is this unicorn brother here's the wood that i'm i'm getting started which i like um i'm going to kill all of the enemies that i can right um now do you take the spirit Resources to use your special power. It gives me two spirits. I'll use the spirit and then I'll, I'll go to sleepy. 
Give me a little heal here. I mean, we got no clue where the votive altar is. <laughs> which puts us puts us in a difficult position, for sure. This gives me provisions, which I think is fine. I'm gonna at least kill you, but I'm not gonna collect the coins. I'm gonna grab this and then hit you. And then I'll go to sleep again. No, no altar to be found. Holy plant gives you plus one PV max, which I'm assuming is our, our hit points here. My special power is now ready to be used. So it's a six spirit special power. Power inflicts damage on enemies in play. Consume six spirits when used. Okay. Four damage to all enemies in the same row and column as you. Okay, good. Very good to know. Give me the spirit. We're going to hit you. We're going to hit you. I'm a little freaked up. Okay. Um, I'm going to hit you. I think I'm in danger. <laughs> I think I'm in a lot of danger. Um, I'm going to take you. I'm going to sleep. Uh, there's my altar. Gains plus one each time you kill an enemy. Higher the value of the altar, the better the rewards. Try to eliminate as many enemies as possible before reaching it. Brother, I need to just survive to reach it. Um, just kidding. No, I don't. Because I'll use my special power. Okay? So now at this point, this is one gold. This is two. I'm going to go here. I'm going to hit you. Definitely didn't look to see if that guy had any special with him. But this is fine. Then I'll go here. We full heal. I'm going to get an equipment chest. Or I get the spirit, I guess. Oh, no, we're full cleared, right? So I can take the equipment chest. Oh, look at this. <laughs> New cards to add to your deck. Spirits are fine. Um, Amphoras generate a random card. That seems fun. Stupid, perhaps, but also fun. Add it to your deck. Uh, remember to reorganize so it gets thrown in there. Um, let's put it in instead of this medicinal herb little scary it could be anything right it could be anything whether that's intelligent or not i don't know a corrupted altar eerie glow comes from this altar interesting okay let's let's attempt to play this intelligently so here's what i'm thinking <laughs> the tyler.exe has stopped working um Here's what I was initially thinking, at least, was if this does 5 damage to the enemy with the most HP, right? And we only have enemies with 2 HP on the board, can I basically force to kill everything? I don't know. Well, that didn't really go according to plan. Um, I'm gonna hit you. Take the spirit. I'm gonna heal. I'm gonna hit you. Take the coins. And then I'm gonna kill the, the three banger. Which is unfortunate, because I, I don't necessarily think that that was the best available play for me. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna hit you. I'm gonna take the gold, and then I'm gonna take a, take a little sleepy. Okay? Used one provision to do that. Amphora generates a random card. We, we have Bel Bel Belagile here, who inflicts uh, toxicity, poison to me. Value of poison is equal to the amount of damage inflicted, so you're doing three poison damage to me, which I take one damage after each of my moves. Disgusting. We hate it. We also have this guy that is scratching. Adds bleed to me. I take extra damage on attacks from bleed. Bunch of gross stuff, frankly. Gives plus five to a random card in play. Is that a random one of my cards? Or a random one of the cards? Could be one of them, right? There's some nasty enemies down here. Uh, I guess I'd like to hit you. The play that I'm thinking here... Oh, dude, the medicinal herbs remove all my status effects, which is sick. I would like to put myself in a position where I can theoretically buff this wood with the plus five, right? So we're going to take this, then I'm going to buff the wood, and then I'm going into the altar, <laughs> which is not, that's not what I wanted to do, I guess. <laughs> it's not intelligent. Okay, give you plus one max provision, that's pretty good. Uh, little relic chest. I already knew we were going to have relics, brother. Um, Book of Vitality adds two health potion cards to danger zones. 
That's fine. I, I take you, you got a relic. Relics are objects that give you a passive effect for the rest of the expedition. Click on your portrait to see your relics. Haha, -ha, there's my relic. Okay. Dude, I am loving this so far. This is a extremely intelligent idea for a game. Um, dense, gloomy forest, disturbing noises echo in the distance. It's it's really as if Forward Escape the Fold got hit with an upgrade, and I, I love that. Would you like to go to the next biome? Uh, yeah, why not? Let's let's see what's going on in, in the dark forest. Seems I got three places to go, and I'd like to go to them. Okay. Show me my enemies. So... Now I'm intrigued. Let's kill you. Then I'm going to... It does not hit both of them. That's a shame. I really thought that that was going to do that. Uh, okay. It just means that that's not something that I have to figure out. <laughs> so that's fine. Pop you. The pure water potion. Trigger two times your special power for free. So do I just have maybe by taking that i just realized that by taking that it probably triggered right there but there were no enemies in the space so it didn't matter that could be okay pop this pop this take your wood the wood was corrupted that added plus one to the enemies around me um not really a concern for me so if we were to play the most intelligently you're gonna poison me, you're not, you're not. We want to... How do we want to do this? Um... <laughs> this, this, this got more complicated all of a sudden. Um, to maximize our efficiency, you would want to kill enemies first, but you're gonna get poisoned. So you want to cure the poison as soon as you, as soon as you can. Um, maybe it's this, this, here, 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 and then here, here. I don't really like it, okay? I, I didn't really care for that play, but it's the play that I did, so it is what it is. This is now where if we want to get maximum potential, give me the, the spirit play into you. The sword unfortunately does nothing, but then I can get the max altar for possibly a higher tier relic. I don't know. Um, Sigil of Faith, your special power moves the votive altar in play next to you. It's kind of cool. Um, plus one to all holy cards. Are some of these cards, uh, you got a label of holy on you? Maybe I don't have any holy cards. Could be the reality. Spirit cards also give provisions. That's huge. Okay? That's huge because what that allows us to do now is I can take this apple out of my deck. And I think that we're probably going to get enough spirits that we can just run with what we have. Dangerous, perhaps, but fun. It's Urga's altar. <laughs> Pray at the center of the altar requires 16 spirits. I cannot do that at this time. So I will I will figure out how to uh, handle that in the future. Now that I know that the bow cannot uh, do what I want it to, I'm just going to do that. Hitcha. Love it. Unfortunately, did not kill one of you, but that's fine. What do you do, by the way? Attacks in the observed direction when I enter that direction. You got me. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. I was going to attack you anyway, so I'm not... I ain't sweating that a whole lot. That went pretty well. I'd like to, to hit space and continue. I mean, dude, like the spirits already... It's, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. So health potion, you're going to get poisoned. I'm just going to eat the poison, to be honest with you. The Ring of Leheran generates one value sword cards that deal three damage to all enemies in play. But that's a one value, so it would deal one damage to all enemies in play. It'll be fine, right? It'll be fine. Um, that was probably not intelligent, but I, I did it. <laughs> so it is what it is. Um, okay, let's one, two, three. Then when we come up to here, you're gonna make one sword cards and then I can just kill you with the sword cards. 
That was an extremely elegant situation. This root, heal one for each empty space, and that's just a full heal. Okay, provisions are still cranking. I haven't needed my apple, which is amazing. This is an extremely terrible, um, extremely terrible set of enemies. I'm gonna hit you, I'm gonna go down, and I'm gonna use my power. Because I, I really don't like how many enemies there were. I'd like to end my turn. The medicinal herbs are good. Holy stone give you plus one luck permanently. There's my altar, by the way. Um, puts me in a, a really terrible position. Unless I do this. <laughs> in which case it puts me in a great position. I'll just collect all of my goods, I guess. So plus one luck. Can I, can I get a little look on luck? Improve my chest loot. Each point increases by 5% the probability that chests will have loot that works in synergy with your affinities. Interesting. And then here's my affinities, which is healing 60%, provision 20%, spirit 20%. I'm assuming different characters probably play differently, is my bet. Um, we'll see how that goes. Choose a card. This will be added to your deck. Gives you six provisions. The excess is dealt as damage. Um, that's crazy good for what we're doing because we're always going to be at excess, probably. So, give me. And then we will continue. Who are you? If you're looking for relics, you've come to the right place. I am looking for relics. How interesting. Uh, can't afford you, but I can't afford you. Yellow Lupin. When you heal your HP, remove all your status effects and flick them to random enemies. That's crazy good. <laughs> What was this? Two golden apple cards. Give you three provision, gold, spirits, and shield. Yeah, those are also crazy. There's no, no denying. They, they are crazy. So I can go down here, which is interesting. Because I'm right here. So what is down from here? It's a chest. Okay. <laughs> it's like a secret room, man. Five plus five to random card in play. I think is, is always good. This does... So this is coming because of the luck, right? That makes sense. Gives me shield. Give me the iron ingot. Um, now, how do I want to play this? I think I want to... I mean, it's tough, right? I think I'm going to try this. My idea is that the iron ingot hunting knife is, is crazy, right? Because that can now trigger eight times. Or trigger six times, six, six damage three times. I don't know how that necessarily works. Maybe we still need the ability to... I mean, I'm basically... Well, we still have a heal here. Getting rid of poison is valuable. I won't deny that. But maybe we can just make it happen. Uh, now, Urga's altar... Oh, you can just click these. That's... It's just good quality of life, to be perfectly honest. Um, okay. Give me my altar. So this is the Corrupted Altar. Um, the Hunting Knife... I, I, I'm going to play this a little bit differently, which is that I'm, I'm just going to kill these guys. And then I'm going to sleep. Although that makes you even stronger, which is a little scary. <laughs> maybe, maybe this was not all that intelligent. Did I... Oh, I got my, my ingot here, so the medicinal herb is just it's just showing up. Um, spend up to six gold and gives you as much shield. So doesn't give me four shield to, to do that. I guess that's fine. Um, I think I got a hitcha at this point. It's terrifying, I'm going to tell you. I really did not want to, to hitcha, but I did hitcha. The sword is good good but my fear is that i'm not benefiting too greatly if i don't try to kill all of them right and then i'm gonna go here this is a good time to use my special power i understand that i want to go to to Urg's shop as well but i'm gonna i'm gonna chill for now Give me the spirit, give me you. It's another sword. I'd like to do this. Uh, I could die here, for sure. <laughs> Holy plant, plus one max. 
Uh, this is super messy. <laughs> this is extraordinarily messy. We're going to do this and then sleep. Okay. Then we're going to do this. We are... That's just four damage. Ha. Huh. <laughs> it's a problem, for sure. Um, I gotta go here. Here. One HP to all enemies in play is fine, because when I go here, I do this. That wipes you, and then I take my altar. That was terrifying, though. It did great things. Plus one endurance, that's big. Because now I can make sure this is active. Yeah. Beautiful. Get a little wood, get a relic chest. Relic chest provides me with add two spirit cards to danger zones. That's good. Plus one to all holy cards, I, I care less about. I think that plus two spirit cards is beautiful, and then I'll go to the mountain. Uh, stay here for a second. I only have nine spirit. I'll never know what Urgis' altar is. I probably played inefficiently in there. But I like our build. I like our build. Some environments, such as mountains, have special rules. Mouse over this icon to find out more. Mountain. The mountains are steep. In danger zones, the cards fall downwards. What the frick? <laughs> okay, interesting. That's really cool. Unlike other cards, your character does not fall. So what is this guy? Zoe, it's you? Oh, what the frick? This is not who I thought Zoe was. Cry, cry, cry. Cry, Akko. Are you sure? Did you see him go that way? Oh no, a Kohen. We'll find him, Zoe, I promise. Come with me. Did I gain Zoe in my deck? If Zoe is a card in my deck, I'm gonna go crazy? Okay, it's not. But, would be cool. So, you can fly. At night, move one space towards you and seeks to attack. Disgusting? I do not want you to do that. I like the spirit, but I, I don't need it. Stuff falls down, yeah. Stuff falls down, that makes it... That makes it real interesting to plan out our plays. And what's your vibe? Gives plus three if Basandir dies. This is Basa Jean. Okay. I'm going to sleep the night. Then I'm going to Hitcha. Then I'm gonna Hitcha. Really a shame you didn't hit him, but that's fine. Gold coins, I'm gonna heal. I'm gonna kill you. And I'm going to grab this, and then I'm going to grab this. Stay there, sleep the night. You got some shield, my guy. Which is fun for you, less for me. I'd like to go to here, you're going to fall. I'm going to hit you. At this point, I would like to grab the spirit so that I have my provisions for the night. I'm going to sleep. Theoretically, our altar should be arriving soon. Double your HP and provisions triggered one time. It's a great item. Um, this is just a sword that does one damage. Which is not ideal. Um, I gotta hit ya. Find ourselves in a little bit of a tough spot here, for sure. I gotta go here, hit ya. Gold coins fall. I sleep the night, but it's, it's a little scarier than I, I would like. <laughs> Let's... Stuff is gonna fall. So, so move here so that falls. That gives me a small heal. I move to here. I'm gonna get the small heal here. Now this is gonna be bleed. I'm gonna come up to here. We're gonna do this. I'm taking damage to spend the night. But this should spawn the altar. Okay. This is actually gonna give me six provisions. <laughs> what, a, what, a, what a wild world. Makes my altar bigger. Brother, we find ourselves in difficult shape. <laughs> we find ourselves in really difficult shape. Um, I gotta do this. Medicinal herb me. And then I have to kill you with that. A plus eight altar is delicious. Don't get it twisted. But I... I don't like spending all my souls, man. When there are no cards in play, spend the night does not consume provisions. It's really good. When you die, go back to the previous zone. Revives are lame. Special power inflicts as much damage to all enemies and plays as its cost in spirit. 
Uh, give me this. Okay, no cards in play, spend the night. This forces me to play differently, which I think is more fun. So it's a corrupted chest. Let's, let's grab... Oh, you can keep on playing it, huh? Okay, I'll be a little freak. <laughs> I'll be a little weirdo. Give me your equipment chest now. New card to add to my deck. I do not like the golden shield, but I do love a three sword. The three sword is effectively a better hunting knife. So let's let's just do that at this point. Um, I like the hunting knife, but I don't have a, a valid way to, to buff it. And I know that we can buff it, but I, I still don't have a valid way to buff it. So you are going to hit him. Um, all of my loot's going to fall, which is lovely. I can then go uh, here, here. I'm going to go back to here, then hit you. The spirit is good, but it's not needed. I'm going to hit you. And we're going to waltz up to here. That heals me. This is eight damage, man, which is a lot. Just kidding, it's not. Your shield doesn't count as damage. It's a great situation. I'll spend the night. We did not play that entirely correctly, but we played it okay. The two damages is enough on the guy on the right. So how do, how do I effectively... And what's your vibe? Gains plus three if Basa Juan, that's you. But you gain plus three if the other guy dies. It's just annoying. Okay, so that's good. At this point, we can go with a plus. It upped the, the spirit, which is frankly okay, in my opinion. Because that is now an insane amount of provisions. Now, the provisions didn't actually do anything for me. So, sleep the night. It's a good health potion. It's a good health potion. Let's, let's just do that. This is now where the extra provisions could could come in handy. Because this is going to be three extra provisions dealt to all enemies, which cleans this up. And then this is an extra six provisions, which cleans you up. And now I will spend the night for free without spending provisions, which is huge. Now a three sword to everybody. I can be convinced that that is fantastic, okay? Then... I'd like to go up, and then I'm just gonna, I'm gonna waltz down the lane here. I could spend spirits to kill you to increase... What happens if I sleep while the altar's active? Does that do something? Meaning I'd do this, and then I'd, I'd sleep again? Yeah, so the altar is still active in that scenario. I'm gonna do this to kill even more people. And then I'm I'm going to get kind of sicko mode. Uh, I have made some huge mistakes, I think. Just kidding, I have... I've made plays. Whether they're mistakes or not, I think, remains to be seen. This is a plus 11 altar, which I, I think is good, okay? I think that that's very good. Let's open... Yeah, I mean, it's golden in nature. That seems very good. Another amphora... It's a legendary fork. Deal as much damage as your amount of provisions. Which is currently six. Um, triggered one time. If we buff that with the... I mean, we could buff that with the the thingy, though. Right? But let's just go up to whatever this is. Well, no, you know what? Go, go back real quick. We don't really know what's going on in some of these other rooms right now. So let's try to find our altar. Um, Amphora generates there, gives me the spirit. It's a sword for three, which kind of just bodies all of you. And I'll, I'll happily waltz right in and annihilate all people at the current moment. The, the bow for five, let's keep on the board, right? And then I can roll over and just kind of pop you. Then this is pretty clean. I'm gonna do this. That guy with, with the 8 health, I, I don't like, but what are you going to do, right? So that buffs the spirit, which buffs you, which buffs you. Still got him on the board. He's just he's just going to have a good time for a little bit. Um. Okay, go here. Let's kill you. Coins, altar's already here, actually. Which is good. 
Um, this is six damage to all enemies in play. I know that I'm now stuck, but then I'll, I'll sleep. I just need to get out of this, which I can totally do. Okay, so we hit you. It's a little spicy, don't, don't get it wrong. <laughs> but I think it's fine. You go here, this hits a lot of you. I gotta, I gotta think about this. Max one provision is really huge. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna hit you. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna pop this to hit you. I'm gonna hit you. Then I'm gonna waltz up to here. Provisions are up to seven, which is, it's, it's huge for what we are going to do with this provision damage. Heal, deal two damage to all enemies. Heal your HP by the total damage inflicted. Pretty, pretty sick. Heal, generate three healing cards on three empty spaces. Spend a gold, kill one random non-boss enemy in play. Swacky. Um, I kind of like this. Two damage to all enemies and then heal based off of that. I think that you, you do that and then that allows you to remove... This is terrifying, um, but I'm gonna do that. And then we're going to get rid of Amphora at that point. And I've basically gone full attack mode with the hope of this healing me for the amounts that I need. I think that's a bad idea though. <laughs> I think that's a bad idea. Maybe we, we get rid of that and put back in our health. M4 is still, it's okay, but I, I like, I like what we got here. The order matters though, by the way. Heal as much as provisions in play. Give me this first. Then, well, this followed by this is, is even better. Maybe this even first. Then you would be in, in line for your heals after you kill all them. Eh, it could work. It could work. What do you got in here? is Exandia. Passionate person, her equipment is always impeccable. Hello. Double your HP and provisions. Fun, not needed. Um, Billhook. Use up to three provisions, deal triple damage to all enemies in play. Uh, it's okay, but I don't got space for any of this, man. Um, plus one to a random card in play from your deck. I, I, I love it. I actually do not think I need any. I got too much stuff. Plus two to selected card. Oh, frick me. Um, it's insanely good. You're just going to do this, and you're going to do it on the fork, man. And we can keep going. I'll keep going. That's fine. And then if you'd like, um, the sword is also, like, very, very nice. That's ridiculously strong. <laughs> that, that... That will probably get nerfed uh, before before uh, the full release of the game, I'm going to tell you. Because you're about to see how freaking broke that is in a second, hopefully. Um, so, Akohan, village priest, father of Lano. Hello. Zoe, Ako, we were afraid you wouldn't make it. How are you? You look... Atanya, Zoe, don't come any closer. By all gods, no. Here she is. Okay. Wretches, I know what you've come to do on Heron Sug's land. I will not let that happen. Okay, hello. Uh, hope you're ready for, like, prime time, though. Because <laughs> this is about to go crazy. We, we got... <laughs> I mean, dude, it was utter obliteration, okay? Just utter obliteration. Get destroyed. I'll take my altar. That was... It was not even close. <laughs> so there's my score. 63. I mean, I have no clue if that's good or not. Um, this makes it look like it's not, because <laughs> it's not filled up in any way. Um, but 25 wood back to the village, that seems very good for me. Uh, but it's our barn, I'm back at the village, what's going on here? Okay, into the barn I go. Information about my last expedition, how very cool. Wheat field, not ready for harvest yet. Maybe in the future. Bye, Bellissima Okohan, you're alive. I only got out of there thanks to Atanya. I managed to escape from that monster once, but if you hadn't arrived in time to fight her, all I could do was wound her. She's much more powerful. Won't be long before she attacks again. Okay, um, sure. Gave me the name before she attacks. She calls herself Pyrene. It's the name of the game! Okay, strange name. You're right, Mathilda. I'll try to find more about her. 
As for me, I think I'll go have a rest in the tavern while well, what's left of it. Natanya, come and see me. If you want to be replaced on your next expedition. Wait, weird way to word it, for sure, but I'm with it. New quest facing Pyrene. Um, I'm going to repair the tavern. Okay. So add 21 wood to the pile. This is this is very enjoyable. Thank you for providing me this this ability. Okay. Tavern has been rebuilt. New characters. You can change your playable character at the tavern. Uh, I can now play as uh, the other guy. Holy frick, man. You think there's enough characters that are going to be in the game? <laughs> so this is Akohan, village priest and father of Leno. Do anything to protect them. He and his little ermine Zoe are inseparable. So now I can play as him. And I got no clue what his deck is. Uh, you can play as Zoe. Incredible. Inflict frost to random cards, spend the night for free and inflict frost. This plays completely differently, man. If Zoe dies, she's permanently removed from your deck. Messed up, really? And you have a higher affinity towards frost and spending the night cards. And you have some relics to start, which is Zoe, and if Zoe is not in play, all damage is doubled. That seems messed up, to be honest. Um, interesting. Very, very interesting. Dude, um, what can I say, right? If you didn't pick up from this video that I had a freaking blast with this, uh, then I need to improve my inflection of the tone in my voice. There's going to be another banger game, just like Forward Escape the Fold. Uh, I'm already loving everything that I'm seeing, and I'm excited to, to dump a lot of time into this in the future. Um, go play this demo. Go show the devs some love. Um, Wishlist the game is that super helps uh, the developers. Pyrene's going to the top of my uh, anticipated anticipated games of 2024 list. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, as always, liking the video, much appreciated. I will see you tomorrow for some more uh, some more Alexa looking. Hope to see you guys there. Have a good rest of your day. Bye bye.